Okay, I'm going to try to prove to you that there is something mystical about seven cards that just seems to defy all explanation. Okay, so I have here a shuffle deck of cards. So I need you to randomly choose any seven to work with, okay? So let's say you choose this one, a couple here, uh, maybe two there, uh, say one there and then one over here. I think that's going to make for seven. We'll double check. <laughs> so if you'd like to mix those to your heart's content, that would be great. Okay. And then once you're content with the mixing of the cards, go ahead and just gather them up and hand them to me. Okay. So here we go. Okay. So I now have the cards as the performer. So now what I do is I give the spectator a choice here. Would they like to have the top card as their special card or the bottom card? Okay, it's a free choice. So let's say they choose the top card as their special card. So what you would do is you would just take the top card and then without you looking at it, show it to the spectator. I don't know if you, hopefully you can see it. Okay, that's their card to remember. Okay. And now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, lose the card in the packet, right? Because we all know where it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something called an under down shuffle. Okay. Go under down, under down, under down, under down. Last one goes on top. Now, to have you help me randomize these cards, what I thought we would do to drive home the fact that seven is a most amazing number, I'm going to go ahead and actually spell the word seven. And we can spell it as many times as you choose. So how many times would you like me to spell out the word seven? Just twice? Okay, that's fine. Your choice. S-E-V-E-N. Okay, that's one spelling. S-E-V-E-N. Okay, do you want to spell it any additional times? No. Okay, that's fine. But just know that you could if you wanted to. And now from here, we're going to utilize the number seven to the greatest degree possible. And you'll see why here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move a card from the top to the bottom as I count through seven and then discard the next card. We'll repeat that until we have just one card remaining, a lone survivor of this crazy process. Okay, so we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, discard that card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, discard that card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, throw that one away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, toss that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, throw that one away. And finally, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, toss that. So for the first time, share with the world the card that you saw. Was it this one? I sure hope it was. And as long as I haven't made a mistake, this is guaranteed to be your card. Okay. Wow. Okay. So how is this done? And if you remember that I gave them the choice to choose the top or bottom card. Okay. So you might wonder, well, what do you do if they choose the bottom card? So that's what we're going to quickly look at. Okay. So here is a full write-up of this effect on the left. So the narrative is that we're trying to uh, convince the spectator or confirm for the spectator that the number seven has mystical properties. And this presentation will bear that out. So you have them randomly choose seven cards. Okay, so why don't we just, we'll choose some from different places. Okay, so however you want them to choose those. Now it is the case they have a free choice here. They can choose and then they can mix these, of course, however, however much they would like. And then they're free to have the top card or the bottom card as, quote, their special card. Okay, so since we did the top card during the presentation, why don't we go with the bottom card? Oh, that's a nice one. So Ace of Hearts is their special card. Okay, now when it was the top card, do you remember what I did next? And it's in the write-up on the left. Okay, 
So what did I do next? Top card chosen, I performed an under down shuffle. That's where you go under down, under down repeatedly. Well, amazingly, if they choose the bottom card, all you have to do is the down under instead. Isn't that cool? Isn't that further confirming that the number seven is indeed special? Which it is actually. So if they choose the bottom card, which we're going to assume at this point, you just perform the down under shuffle. Okay, so you go down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down. Last one goes on top. That's also called the Australian shuffle. Now, in either case, whether their chosen card was the top one and we did the under down or their chosen card was the bottom one and we did the down under, their card is guaranteed to be in the middle position now. Okay, that's the important thing. Okay, so we have three cards above it, three cards below. Their card is guaranteed to be in the middle position. And it looks like I'm gonna have to plug in my computer. Okay, so I'll come right back. Okay, we're back with electrical power as well as magical power, of course. Okay, so uh, going back to our explanation here. So in either case, in step three there on the left, their special card will now be in the middle position. Well, that's a very special place to be actually, because it allows us to perform overcoating. Now, if you heard of that before, it's a term I use quite a bit on my channel. Coat stands for count out and transfer. And so an overcoat is where you count out and transfer or deal to the table 50% or more of the cards. Well, if you do that, the middle card stays in the middle position. It's a fixed point, okay? So that ace of hearts will stay exactly where it is, which by the way, that is exactly where we need it to be for this counting to seven and then discarding cards, okay? We need it in the middle and that's where it is. So we want to just keep it there while giving the illusion of mixing the cards with spectator input that would seem to affect the ordering of the cards and the routine itself, right? That's what most people will assume, okay? So the overcoating that I decided to offer the spectator was the word seven, S-E-V-E-N, because that's five letters. And so that's more than 50% of seven cards, right? So you can spell out seven, S-E-V-E-N, as many times as you like. And the middle card is a fixed point relative to overcoating here that will just stay in the middle for all eternity, okay? So you could personalize this further if you like. So for example, if the spectator's name is Robert, you could go ahead and spell Robert, R-O-B-E-R-T, drop the remaining one on top, or if it's John, J-O-H-N, Okay, that's 50% or more of the cards. Or Sarah, with an H, uh, S-A-R-A-H, or just with an A, that's fine. Either one would work, okay? So you could personalize it at this point. The key is you need to count out four, but no more than seven of the cards, somewhere between four and seven cards, okay? We'll leave the middle card in the middle position. Okay, and now, the two options, as you can see on the screen on the left, they converge to the same ending steps. You go ahead and tuck under deal seven cards repeatedly while discarding the next card. So you just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, discard the next one. In fact, we'll even show it here so you can see it's not our special card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, discard the next card. That's important. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, discard the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, discard the next one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, discard the next one. Now we're almost there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, discard the next one. 
and you're left with the spectator's card guaranteed okay okay so i've shown you procedurally how to do the effect i haven't shown you the mathematics driving it but in some ways the mathematics is simple enough that i think a majority of my viewers will probably be able to detect okay i can see what's going on mathematically so i'll probably just leave that to you the spectator to puzzle that out uh, but if you perform it as written up on the left this will always work for you and it gets such a wonderful reaction from those i've shared it with so anyway so this is an original fact that i thought i would add to my channel and i hope you take a look at other videos on the absolute math magic channel